is up guys welcome back to the channel thank you guys so much for stopping back by so i've got a whoa i see dead eyes on the verge of suicide i realize it's not all right i'll find my way to itemize it in my eyes and we're back uh, sorry, I had a mishap with the package and I I dropped it. Anyway, we got a special delivery, and this comes all the way from North Carolina. Uh, my good buddy uh, James Shaver sent this over to me. Uh, thank you, by the way, James. I appreciate this. Um, Carolina Kiwi Creations uh, is his uh, is his company. He's a uh, artist. He's a mask maker. Um, he is a all around jack of all trades kind of guy and he's pretty awesome. Uh, James is one of the, one of the nicest people that I have uh, come across in the, this industry. Um, anyway, when he heard that I started up a new cosplay Twitch channel, link in the description, uh, the Chainsaw Chronicles, which is a cosplay, um, game channel, um, for Texas Chainsaw Massacre, uh, different variations of Leatherface cosplay. As you can tell, um, like I say, link will be in the description. You want to check it out? Uh, we do a lot of gameplay. Friday the Thirteenth, Dead by Daylight, the new Texas Chainsaw Massacre when it comes out. Anyway, enough of that. When he knew I uh, heard about that I'd started the channel, and he knew how much I loved Bubba, um, he sent me one of uh, his pieces that he created, and I'm really excited about this. Um, this is from the 2022 Netflix Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Um, a lot of people didn't like the film. Um, I personally did like it. There were some things I didn't like about it, but overall, um, I liked it. The guy that played Leatherface, I thought did an awesome job. Um, so this is the 2022 Leatherface mask that James sculpted and designed himself. Um, from what he told me, this is a latex version. He does do it in a silicone version. Um, and uh, this is like a half mask. It doesn't have like the gray hair or anything attached to it. Um, when I get ready to finally... Oh, wow. <laughs> That's awesome. When I finally get ready to cosplay it, um, I'm going to try to uh, attach the gray stringy hair that was uh, Leatherface's mother. So here we go. Oh, dude. He put the, even put the Permatex like blood around the skin where it looks like it's been ripped off completely off the face. James, that is awesome, bro. That is freaking sweet, man. Now he put this, um, he put this, uh, stretchy, um, band around it. And I like the way he actually did it. He actually didn't like put like the, um, you know, like the, um, F-13 mask, the hockey mask, they have the straps on them, and they'll have, like, the button on the outside of them. He didn't do that. He actually attached it from the inside of the mask where that bright, silverish-looking button doesn't stick out on the outside of the skin. I actually dig that part. Thanks, Bay, for doing that. I appreciate it. Um, I know some people attach this around their ears and wear it. Um, I don't know if I can get my big fat ears in this. Um, I would like to try to attach it that way, but dude, yeah, this is awesome, man. Fantastic job. That is, that is freaking sweet. Check that out, guys. Like I say, I'll leave a link in the description to, um, Carolina Kiwi Creations, uh, Etsy page. Um, and also James's uh, personal Facebook page. He does a lot of live streams on Facebook. Um, he's working on some different things right now. Uh, he did an awesome uh, Cujo bus for D Wallace. Um, you know she played in Cujo, and uh, it was it's really outstanding. I think he did a great job on it. But James is a uh, is a stand up guy. I really like James. Um, he he doesn't give himself enough credit for his work. Um, but like I said, I'll leave a link to his Facebook page if you want to take and uh, go over and befriend him. Um, he does a lot of live streams on his channel. And I'll leave a link to his Etsy page if you want to check out some of his work. But yeah, dude, this is freaking awesome. Much love, guys. I appreciate it. James, once again, thanks, dude. You're a rock star. Y'all have a good one. Later, guys.